in statistics and in statistical physics. Gibbs sampling or a Gibbs sampler is a Markov chain Monte Carlo algorithm for obtaining a sequence of observations which are approximated from a specified multivariate probability distribution. When direct sampling is difficult, this sequence can be used to approximate the joint distribution, to approximate the marginal distribution of one of the variables, or some subset of the variables, or to compute an integral. Typically, some of the variables correspond to observations whose values are known, and hence do not need to be sampled. Gibbs sampling is commonly used as a means of statistical inference, especially Bayesian inference. It is a randomized algorithm, and is an alternative to deterministic algorithms for statistical inference such as variational Bayes or the expectation maximization algorithm. As with other MCMC algorithms, Gibbs sampling generates a Markov chain of samples, each of which is correlated with nearby samples. As a result, care must be taken if independent samples are desired. In addition, samples from the beginning of the chain may not accurately represent the desired distribution. Introduction Gibbs sampling is named after the physicist Josiah Willard Gibbs in reference to an analogy between the sampling algorithm and statistical physics. The algorithm was described by brother Stuart and Donald Gemman in 1984, some eight decades after the death of Gibbs. In its basic version, Gibbs sampling is a special case of the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm. However, in its extended versions, it can be considered a general framework for sampling from a large set of variables by sampling each variable in turn, and can incorporate the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm to implement one or more of the sampling steps. Gibbs sampling is applicable when the joint distribution is not known explicitly or is difficult to sample from directly, but the conditional distribution of each variable is known and is easy to sample from. The Gibbs sampling algorithm generates an instance from the distribution of each variable in turn, conditional on the current values of the other variables. It can be shown that the sequence of samples constitutes a Markov chain, and the stationary distribution of that Markov chain is just the sought-after joint distribution. Gibbs sampling is particularly well adapted to sampling the posterior distribution of a Bayesian network, since Bayesian networks are typically specified as a collection of conditional distributions. Implementation Gibbs sampling, in its basic incarnation, is a special case of the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm. The point of Gibbs sampling is that given a multivariate distribution it is simpler to sample from a conditional distribution than to marginalize by integrating over a joint distribution. Suppose we want to obtain samples of from a joint distribution. Denote the th sample by. We proceed as follows. We begin with some initial value. To get the next sample we sample each component variable from the distribution of that variable conditioned on all other variables, making use of the most recent values and updating the variable with its new value as soon as it has been sampled. This requires updating each of the component variables in turn. If we are up to the th component we update it according to the distribution specified by. Note that we use the value that the th component had in the th sample not the th. Repeat the above step times. If such sampling is performed, these important facts hold. The samples approximate the joint distribution of all variables. The marginal distribution of any subset of variables can be approximated by simply considering the samples for that subset of variables, ignoring the rest. The expected value of any variable can be approximated by averaging over all the samples. When performing the sampling, the initial values of the variables can be determined randomly or by some other algorithm such as expectation maximization. It is not actually necessary to determine an initial value for the first variable sampled. It is common to ignore some number of samples at the beginning, and then consider only everything sample when averaging values to compute an expectation. For example, the first 1000 samples might be ignored, and then every 100th sample averaged, throwing away all the rest.
The reason for this is that successive samples are not independent of each other but form a Markov chain with some amount of correlation. The stationary distribution of the Markov chain is the desired joint distribution over the variables, but it may take a while for that stationary distribution to be reached. Sometimes, algorithms can be used to determine the amount of autocorrelation between samples and the value of computed from this. But in practice there is a fair amount of black magic involved. The process of simulated annealing is often used to reduce the random walk behavior in the early part of the sampling process. Other techniques that may reduce autocorrelation are collapsed Gibbs sampling, blocked Gibbs sampling, and ordered over relaxation. See below. Relation of conditional distribution and joint distribution Furthermore, the conditional distribution of one variable given all others is proportional to the joint distribution. Proportional to, in this case means that the denominator is not a function of and thus is the same for all values of, it forms part of the normalization constant for the distribution over. In practice, to determine the nature of the conditional distribution of a factor, it is easiest to factor the joint distribution according to the individual conditional distributions defined by the graphical model over the variables. Ignore all factors that are not functions of, and then reinstate the normalization constant at the end, as necessary. In practice, this means doing one of three things. If the distribution is discrete, the individual probabilities of all possible values of are computed, and then sum to find the normalization constant. If the distribution is continuous and of a known form, the normalization constant will also be known. In other cases, the normalization constant can usually be ignored, as most sampling methods do not require it. Inference Gibbs sampling is commonly used for statistical inference. The idea is that observed data is incorporated into the sampling process by creating separate variables for each piece of observed data and fixing the variables in question to their observed values. Rather than sampling from those variables, the distribution of the remaining variables is then effectively a posterior distribution conditioned on the observed data. The most likely value of a desired parameter could then simply be selected by choosing the sample value that occurs most commonly. This is essentially equivalent to maximum a posteriori estimation of a parameter. More commonly, however, the expected value of the sampled values is chosen. This is a Bayes estimator that takes advantage of the additional data about the entire distribution that is available from Bayesian sampling. Whereas a maximization algorithm such as expectation maximization is capable of only returning a single point from the distribution. For example, for a unimodal distribution the mean is usually similar to the mode, but if the distribution is skewed in one direction, the mean will be moved in that direction, which effectively accounts for the extra probability mass in that direction, although some of the variables typically correspond to parameters of interest. Others are uninteresting variables introduced into the model to properly express the relationships among variables. Although the sampled values represent the joint distribution over all variables, the nuisance variables can simply be ignored when computing expected values or modes. This is equivalent to marginalizing over the nuisance variables. When a value for multiple variables is desired, the expected value is simply computed over each variable separately. Supervised learning Unsupervised learning and semi-supervised learning can all be handled by simply fixing the values of all variables whose values are known, and sampling from the remainder. For observed data, there will be one variable for each observation, rather than, for example, one variable corresponding to the sample mean or sample variance of a set of observations. In fact, there generally will be no variables at all corresponding to concepts such as sample mean or sample variance. Instead, in such a case there will be variables representing the unknown true mean and true variance.
and the determination of sample values for these variables results automatically from the operation of the Gibbs sampler. Generalized linear models can sometimes be handled by Gibbs sampling as well. For example, probit regression for determining the probability of a given binary choice, with normally distributed priors placed over the regression coefficients can be implemented with Gibbs sampling because it is possible to add additional variables and take advantage of conjugacy. However, logistic regression cannot be handled this way. One possibility is to approximate the logistic function with a mixture of normal distributions. More commonly, however, Metropolis Hastings is used instead of Gibbs sampling. Mathematical background Suppose that a sample is taken from a distribution depending on a parameter vector of length, with prior distribution. It may be that is very large and that numerical integration to find the marginal densities of the would be computationally expensive. Then an alternative method of calculating the marginal densities is to create a Markov chain on the space by repeating these two steps. Pick a random index. Pick a new value for according to. These steps define a reversible Markov chain with the desired invariant distribution. This can be proved as follows. Define if for all and let denote the probability of a jump from 2. Then, the transition probabilities are so since as an equivalence relation. Thus the detailed balance equations are satisfied, implying the chain is reversible and it has invariant distribution. In practice, the suffix is not chosen at random, and the chain cycles through the suffixes in order. In general this gives a non-stationary Markov process, but each individual step will still be reversible, and the overall process will still have the desired stationary distribution.